Welcome to Ranger Rob Has Your Back, a show that features your business, your services, your products. On Ranger Rob Has Your Back, you are the star. Let Ranger Rob be your advocate. Let's get started. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hello everyone, this is Ranger Rob and welcome to Ranger Rob Has Your Back where you're the star. And today we're going to interview, yes, the boob whisperer. You heard it right, the boob whisperer. Uh, today we're going to interview Lori Bodimer. I guess I always say your name wrong. So anyway, uh, please sit back, enjoy. You're actually going to learn a lot about boobs today and uh, leave it to me to be the person to bring it to you. So let's get started. Hello everybody, this is Ranger Rob and Ranger Rob has your back and today we have the Boob Whisperer. That's right. And this is Lori Bodemer. Bodemer. <laughs> and I'm going to leave, <laughs> I'm going to, I'm taking this one. I keep wanting to say your name differently. <laughs> and I enjoy this lady so much. Um, we're in a network group together and she is so enthusiastic about what she does. And basically, tell us what you do. So women hate bras. So my entire goal in life is to get women out of bras. And most men can appreciate that. So so what's the difference what between do. bras and what you're uh, what you always t um, what you're trying to show people? OK, so a traditional bra think you know, Victoria's Secret, Soma. Some people go to Kohl's, Nordstrom, whatever. But a typical bra has straps that will dig in, or if you don't have really high shoulders, women lose their straps all day long. And then most bras have a wire, an underwire, and they just poke in and they're miserable. So think of it as a man. Mm -hmm. If you had to wear a jock strap 24 hours a day, <laughs> how comfortable would you be? Uh, yeah, and my wife complains about the, she, in fact, she always makes sure she doesn't get the, the, the wire because it's right. very uncomfortable over time. Um, one of the other things I always hear about, especially since we're in Arizona, is, you know, it's hot and we sweat yes. a lot. So I know you, uh, I've heard you in your presentations before. What? Yes. We call those humiditities. You don't <laughs> want to have sweaty boobs. Yes. <laughs> like women will get yeast infections or rashes or just like you're sitting in your own sweat. all day. It's terrible. So my product is a cami or a dummy uh -huh. and basically it just i just say I, I help women be comfortable confident i combat boob sweat i help you look and feel great all day long so um here i'll flash you really quick this is a cami so holds the girls up but there's no wire gotcha. which is what's really important so uh because women are like well but i still you know you want to be perky if you've got those as an asset you want to like show them off but you want to be comfortable yeah. and so a few years ago i went and worked at soma part-time because i was like well i hate bras let me go to a bra store so i can finally get a great bra had 40 i still whipped them off in the car uh like didn't even like you know the new course commercial the lady comes home and pops a course and then flings her bra <laughs> yeah uh my husband's like, Lori, you got to see this. I'm like, baby, I posted that three weeks ago, but thank you. Uh, but that's what women do is they just, they come home. That's the first thing they want to take off. I wouldn't even make it in the house. Well, if you go get dressed the next morning and you took your bra off in the car, it's not in the house when you go to get dressed. So <laughs> my days off, I wouldn't wear any. And, you know, we're in Arizona. There's a lot of people that come knocking on your door around here. Mm -hmm. And I would be so grumpy because my boobs would be saggy because i'm 46 i've had a couple kids there's this thing called gravity so i would just be angry with whoever was at the door and it did not make me a nice person so i'm on facebook one day and someone's like you need to talk to this lady about her no bra thing and i'm like well whatever that is i need it so she came over and measured me and fitted me uh -huh. and i bought some and dean was like what are you doing i'm like yeah i'm never wearing a bra again and i've never have since that day now, uh, question, do you, uh, can you service or support people outside of uh, Arizona? All over the United States. I figured so, so, yeah. Yeah, so part of what we do is I just, I don't even really care about cup size. When I say big or small, I fit them all, that is true. What I need is an anchor measurement. So that's actually under the girls. It's like where your rib cage is. Right. 
when I have that measurement and then I know how tall you are and if you're apple or pear or however you're shaped, I can make a virtual recommendation and I'm right on about 95% of the time. So I took all of that training from Soma, where I was an expert bra fitter, right. learned more about boobs than anybody but a plastic surgeon. <laughs> uh, and then I put it into this business. So I can pretty confidently measure people no matter where you are. So I offer one-on-one -on -one fittings in my home office, but I also do Zoom fittings. So kind of like we're on Skype right now. I can do Zoom and talk with somebody and show them and discuss things, um, you know, and every woman has something different that bothers her. You would not believe how many women rig them or roll their bras, like they'll wear a bra and a tank or they'll wear a bra, but the cups they like, it's too small and they put extenders and I'm like, it's crazy what we do. Yeah. This is 2020 people. We deserve comfort, support. So I'm, I'm going to ask a dumb question. I know there's some okay. girls that aren't so fulfilled, uh, like to feel more fulfilled. Is there, uh, can that be, um, accomplished with your stuff? It can like really when I say I fit them all, I fit them all. So if you go on Amazon and you look up chicken cutlets, you will not find food. You will find things that you can insert right. and that give you more vavoom. Yeah. Yeah. So we, you know, you can put those in. I work with a lot of breast cancer survivors. Um, oh, I was yeah. actually an oncology nurse in the Air Force. So really, boobs have been my whole life. It's very interesting. But <laughs> whether you had a lumpectomy, a mastectomy, you know, a partial, both, you've been reconstructed, whatever your Brahma, your situation, I can work with you. And so we even offer a product now that has like an opening and you can put your prosthesis in there. Mm -hmm. um, and most women, our boobs are not the same size. Some people are off by more than a cup. Um, I've heard that. Some are just a little bit different, but we have pedals. I can help with that. I can make you look even, hold you up. Yeah. Um, also, I remember uh, doing your presentation that you uh, have um, apparel that helps uh, with, your sh with shaping. Yes. So that's the cami that I'm in today, uh, we call shapewear because you can lose one to three inches and it gives you enough support that, you know, like if you stand for 30 minutes, like at a vendor event and like your back starts to hurt because when you're working, you know, like you're standing straighter, yeah. I can stand for six hours. My back won't hurt that day. And I have pretty severe fibro. It won't hurt the next day. So we have enough like... It's called variable compression. We have enough compression that this works as shapewear. So it holds in your tummy, holds in your hips. It smooths everything. Yeah. So like women can reshop from their own wardrobe. They can fit in things. Like I've got skirts that I cannot zip. I put my cami on and I zip it up. But it's not spank. So what we say is we give hugs, not spank. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you feel like a stuffed sausage, you are not in the right size. You should feel <laughs> completely comfortable. So what's the best way for someone to communicate with you, especially if they're not in your local area, to uh, uh, get more information, how to get sized? Um, uh, what are some of the basic things that happen when someone contacts you? So the best way to reach me is I have a bot. I call her my virtual assistant. Her name is BoobyBot. You text 555-888-BOOBS. And it kind of walks you through and she's getting smarter by the day. We've added some um, AI things so people can ask about return sizing. And so through my bot, you can choose three options. You can do a virtual appointment through Zoom. Uh -huh. You can get on my actual calendar to get fitted at my home or the bot can just, if you don't even want to talk to a person at all, the bot will ask you questions, you'll answer them and then they will make recommendations for you. Wow, that's pretty cool. Um, and if and they I go to the if they go to the rubyribbon dot com uh, slash with Lori, what where does that take them, and how do they talk to you? Okay. That is just my website. So oh, gotcha. that's like if you went to Amazon dot com and you wanted to order something, that's where you order. Oh, gotcha. Uh, the bot is much more individualized, personal, and when you contact me that way and you order, I give you a freebie. So I either gift you pedals or a lingerie bag, whichever you prefer. Yeah. Um, and that's probably the easiest, most fun, interactive way. And there's like, you can just even go down and it'll say, email Lori a question and I'll immediately get that. And I can text back and forth, but I'm on Facebook a lot. I do a lot on messenger. Um, I don't do a lot of 
like in person phone calls. I do tend to do more texts, but, um, and a lot of people want to get together and tell their friends. So if you have five or more people, I will pack up my office and come to you. Otherwise people come to me and I have a fitting room. It's super professional. We make it really fun. You would not believe I like people equate getting bras, like going bra shopping, like going to the dentist. They hate it. So my goal yeah, my, is my to, wife's that way. Yeah. yeah. If I can't make you laugh, like if you're not having a good time while you're here, then there's an issue. Like we have a good time. So, uh, and yeah. it's just a whole different concept. People, it, it's really like you need to feel it and you need to try it. So people that are far away, we do have a 30 day return, 60 day exchange, but generally once someone puts it on, like they don't want to give it back and I don't stock inventory. They go to my site in order. Right. I have women that refuse to take them off. They're like, you're not getting it off of me. And I'm like, well, <laughs> then you need to order me one to replace that one. But really they come in like three days, get yourself a brand new one. But it's right. just, it's life changing to like feel good and be supported and be comfortable. So you do, know, I, I so is all your, all your products for women, uh, do you have anything for men? I do not. Now, I okay. will say there are men that buy some, but we don't typically, like, advertise for men. But So we have boy shorts. We have support, uh, like, thigh high, mm -hmm. you know, thigh slimmers, body suits. So when we have some amazing leggings, and our swimwear is the bomb. But so every once in a while, a man will get some of, like, the – the things to hold their tummies in or whatever. But right. no, but ninety nine point nine 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 percent I sell to women. I know if I was probably if I was still in the working zone, I'm retired now, but I know if I wanted to maybe look a little better in shirts and things like that, it's like, uh, oh, maybe I'd consider something like that. So it's yeah. amazing the differences. Because so a lot of women like, you know, it's it's yoga pants are in style right now and uh, leggings. Well, if you have a good foundation where everything is smooth and lays right, you look a hundred times better than you do just like typically. So I, I love before and after pictures. I have some pretty amazing transformations. Yeah. So what what are some of the um, feedback and, uh, and uh, positive feedbacks and things like that you've gotten from some of your clients? Oh my gosh. I've had people cry in my office. Um, I typically say, the larger the boobs, the larger the woman, the more you're going to love me. Because let's be honest, if you're a size four and you're an A cup, you can go to Marshalls and get a bra for 12 bucks and you can wear it or not wear it. I'm not going to be like life changing probably for you. However, we have a new line for those people. So I will segue back to that. But usually a woman, you know, we want to look our best. We want to feel our best. And I've had ladies put on a cami and break into tears and say, for the first time in years, I feel beautiful. I've had women that are breast cancer survivors that, you know, have just like a half of a breast left. And yeah. by the time we get her fitted and put in petals, she looks down and she's like, oh, my gosh, I'm a woman again. Because so much of who we are is tied up into our breasts. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, no, it's amazing. I love it's almost like being a teacher, you know, like they're like, oh, you know, yeah, we get paid, but we have these moments where it's just <laughs> you feel like you do it for free because it's so amazing. Like, that's how I feel. So you're uh, you're nicknamed the Boob Whisperer. Is, <laughs> is that someone that is somebody give that name to you or is that something yeah, you came up with? <laughs> I, I actually wanted to be the no bra lady. And I was like, I'm the no bra lady. And someone's like, Lori, you are the Boob Whisperer. And it just stuck. And so, like, <laughs> literally people... In other states, will be like, we've heard of you. Like, it's crazy. So I'll go out. People don't even know my name is Lori. They just know, like, I'm the boob lady. So, <laughs> and which is fine. You know, yeah. I tell women, when you get dressed in the morning, I want you to, you know, put your cami, your demi, your sport, whatever on, look at your boobs and think of me. So yeah. I'm the boob expert. So what kind, what kind of schedule do you have? I mean, you're a busy buddy. I, I know you're a, you're a mom and, a, and a, you have this business. And uh, tell, tell a little personal thing about how how – your enthusiasm is in, incredible. Well, thank you. Um, you know, actually, it's very funny. I'm not an extrovert. People think I am. I'm actually an ambivert. So I just went on a marketing cruise. So I did like breakfast and lunch in my room by myself. And then when I'm out, like I've got all this energy built up and then I can give it to everybody else. So um, my sorry, my phone just keeps ringing. OK, no I problem. keep turning and I even have it like on off. So I don't know why it's coming through. You're, do, you're but, doing um, good. 
I love that I make my own schedule because really, so what happens like when someone goes on my bot, they see my calendar and they can just pick a time that works for them. So I've already scheduled all my time. So I have a special needs son. He's 15. Tonight is his first Valentine's dance. I'm so excited for <laughs> oh, cool, him. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, I thought we got to go. They're like, no, you have to leave him for two hours. And I'm like, okay. Um, wow. So a little nervous about that. But uh, so we have family time. Um, I am the breadwinner. My husband works a little bit part-time during the year. And then he has a YouTube channel that he says is a business, but it doesn't make him money. So I tell him it's a hobby. Uh, <laughs> But it keeps him out of trouble and he loves it. So it's all good. So I do not work a lot because so I don't know if people are in like the Victoria's Secret world. They closed 23 stores last year. Uh, we've gotten past wanting to be a perfect angel and understanding that, you know, body positivity, whatever size you are. Like, I love that for once in my life, my curves like have come in handy. You know, I years ago, I did some health and wellness and I always felt bad that I wasn't like a size six. You know, I'm me and my curves go with my business. So that's lovely. Uh, but I just I network a lot because I want people to know they have an option. So this company was around for five years before I ever heard of them. Wow. Uh, I'm on Facebook. I live on Facebook like I'm pissed. I wore a bra for five years for no reason. So. What I have, is it for everybody? No, but I guarantee everybody I meet with knows somebody it is for. And so my personal goal is just to let women know this exists. Come over, try it on in person, see what you like. Um, and that's just what I do. And I do, I just, I love it. Like it is, it's crazy, but you know, like, I don't know. Think of like having a hangnail, like just something that bugs you. Like it just puts you in a mood. Yeah. Like an uncomfortable bra does that. Like, how can you be nice to your husband and your kids and the people you work with if something's poking you all day long? Yeah. So it's a little thing, but it truly is life changing. Yeah. And we haven't even talked about the health part of it yet. So yeah. that's huge. Well, before I, before we go into that, I want to make sure okay. people know that in the description of this video, all your links are down below and you have a Facebook page too, which is not on this particular screen. And uh, so uh, if anybody wants to contact Lori, um, uh, the main ways to contact her is on the page in front of us right now underneath this, uh, her video, but, uh, also on the description, everything you need to know about Lori in the, in the famous boob whisper, um, is all there. So feel free to go down the description and contact her. And we, uh, uh, and I, I think we even have your phone number down there. Yeah. We don't have yep. it on the screen here. Um, yep. uh, so tell me the, the health benefits that yes. you know of. So Ruby Ribbon as a company, we don't make medical claims. I will just share some facts and info. And I always let women know that this is something that you should look into for yourself. So the uh, everybody has 32 to 34 lymph nodes right here in your underarms. Mm -hmm. So if you see a naturopath, a thermographer, a breast health doctor, they will tell you two things. Number one, don't wear um, antiperspirant, wear deodorant. And make it a natural deodorant because you want to perspire. You want that to come out. You won't be stinky like once you detox and you actually just use a deodorant. Um, the second thing is do not wear a wired bra. And this is why. There's multiple reasons. But to get good lift, that wire is sitting against your rib cage. Your lymph system cannot drain. So your heart is a pump. It pumps your blood throughout your body. Well, your lymph system doesn't have a pump. It needs to drain. The best way to work your lymphatic system is actually to jump on a trampoline. So it kind of makes it like a pump. But anyway, <laughs> uh, the wire actually causes inflammation. So I'm not about mammograms. I'm about thermography. So and I've got a couple of people in the valley, East Valley and West Valley thermographers. I can recommend if anybody's interested, but they do like a 3D heat version of what's going on in your breast tissue. Wow. And they see a lot of things that you can't see through mammography. Well, if you wear a wired bra and you take it off and you get your thermal scan done, you will see there's inflammation above and below where that wire sits. Hmm. Go without a bra for six months, you go back in, that's gone completely away. It's just the wired bras are so unhealthy for your breast system um, and a lot of things that get looked at or checked out or sometimes even removed can totally be avoided. They could clear up. They could not be what they, there's just so much to it. So 
just to be healthy. And plus, oh, your phone, everything, you know, there's like EMF waves. So you're getting, because it's a wire and it's a metal, yeah. that's not healthy either. So, you know, and people used to come into Soma and say to me, oh, my doctor says I can't wear a wired bra. And I would just roll my eyes and be like, yeah, whatever. I was wrong, people. Don't. They were right. Wired <laughs> bras are not good for you. So. Uh, well, this has been so much fun. So um, we're going to wrap this up. However, um, I want to give you an opportunity to, if you had somebody brand new in front of you, and what's the most important message you'd want to let them know about wearing uh, their bra and, and comfort and, uh, and things like that? What would be the big selling point of that you would uh, point out every time that's most important to you and, and your customers? Gosh, I would probably just do my 17.5 second networking infomercial that I do because <laughs> wow, there's a little bit to it. So yeah. I would just, you know, hey, I'm Lori. I'm the boob whisperer. If you are somebody that cannot wait to rip your bra off because you're tired of slipping straps and getting poked and dug at all day long, I can help you look and feel great, support your boobs, support your back. I combat boob sweat. And bottom line, big or small, I fit them all. <laughs> Sweet. That's what I do. That's so awesome. everybody's got something, whether it's the comfort, the lift, the support, the hold, they want to look thinner. I have a brand new customer. She's like a size four. She's so excited. People came up to her this week. They're like, we know you've lost weight. She's like, no, I just have a secret weapon. <laughs> like, so it doesn't matter how big or small you are. I can help you look better. Sweet. And you back support. And then if you're like a fibro person or you have shingles or you've had breast work done and you're not allowed to wear a wire, the doctors will say, well, you can't wear a wire, but they don't have what you can wear. I do. And nice. we just came out with a brand new product called Second Skin. Mm-hmm. It's for the A to D sizes. Because remember, I said earlier, the bigger the woman, the bigger the boobs, the happier. I finally have something for the itty bitty titty committee. So <laughs> if you're littler and you need some support and you want to feel smooth, I got you. She and does. You're and you're an O or a G or an H. I've got you too. I've got you all. Nice. I got to tell you, it's always wonderful to be you have a atmosphere about you that's wonderful and uh you make everybody feel comfortable with the subject and uh including guys i mean uh, uh i remember doing your presentation i was the only guy in a room and it's yeah. like i'm in there with the girls asking as many questions as they have because you know my wife's constantly complaining about stuff like that so um, yeah. I knew the right questions to ask. <laughs> well, and it's funny. I did a presentation for a networking group. I'm not part of them. They said, please come in and speak. Well, half of them were men. They had the best time. Well, they didn't even know what uniboob was. That's when your boobs are all smushed together and look like one big thing. Yeah, yeah. That's no bueno. But anyhow, uh, they were dying. And I finally said, you guys, it's just boobs. We all have them. I don't understand why it's like a taboo subject. Like we have yeah. them. We deal with them all day long. But I will tell you, we got a new Zip uh, Sport Demi. It is my husband's very favorite product ever. So every time I put it on, it's time to take it off. I'm like, babe, do you want to do the honors? And he's like, yes. And then he just unzips it. Then he's happy. Right so, on. <laughs> yeah. And we have gift certificates. So men can oh, totally just go on and order a $25, $50, or $100. And then the wife can go ahead and set up a Zoom with me. So oh, it's nice, from nice. him. But you still get my one-on-one, -on -one, my feedback, all of my expertise, whatever. Uh, so you still get me, even if it's a, a guy, you know, purchasing for mom, sister, wife, whomever. Sounds good. Well, hey, we're going to wrap this up. This has been so much fun. And uh, okay, I want to remind everybody that your information's on the screen. Don't hesitate to contact Lori. In the description is more information about Lori. And uh, she will make the time for you. I know that for but, sure. I've, I've this seen is my full-time business. Yeah. This is what I do. Like literally I tell people when you think of boobs, you need to think about me. Like I want to be that top of mind to people. <laughs> but yeah, this is how, you know, I support my family, support my kids. I will be in Mexico with our company in March. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much for interviewing with us and thanks for being on the Ranger Rob show. Well, thank you for having me. You bet. You're well, pretty cool, too. And you <laughs> cook and you do all this stuff. And I'm like, I just, you know, I'll hey. just say play with boobs. But I don't well, play with them, but I just did boobs all day long. <laughs> like, you cook. 
Well, we may have your back, but you have their boobs, right? <laughs> I have the front. You know it. I've got some friends that do other things. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm the waist up. Waist up, <laughs> I've got you. The other stuff, not my expertise. Sweet. So uh, remain on the line here, but we're going to wrap this up. So I want to say goodbye to everybody and thank you so much for being on the show. And don't hesitate to contact Lori, especially uh, uh, this. Yeah. <laughs> the boob lady you've met her she finally the boob whisperer and i finally get a chance to interview her and i'm so uh, pleased to have you on the show so Thanks, until Mark. next time guys we'll talk to you later bye. bye thank you for watching our video please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over then go down to the description and think about becoming a member of our patreon this will allow you to get special content just for you and help us build future content. Thank you.